Hello friends, welcome to Satya Shine. In today's video, we will see how to make this caramel cake. And uh, this video is a little bit lengthy, but uh, do watch it till the end and stay on. First, we start with making the praline. For this, we need around half a cup of almonds, which we would uh, dry roast it and uh, crush it to a coarse powder. Or you can even put it in the mixer jar and pulse it for a few seconds. The powder should look something like this, big chunks and even small small pieces. And next I am taking around half a cup of sugar and heating it in a pan in 2-3 uh, batches. And when it starts melting, uh, just swirl it across. Do not touch it with your finger, it might burn. And uh, do not use any objects like fork or spoon because it might uh, crystallize over that object that you are putting in. And we have to melt the entire sugar this particular way by swirling it across and after it melts just mix it thoroughly and add all the almonds that we have crushed. We'll uh, stir it nicely and uh, we will add 1 tablespoon of soft butter. If you add frozen butter it might just splutter all across. Now I'll transfer it into a grease surface and work very fast and flatten it. This is the end product after it gets cooled down and uh, break it into small pieces. Put it in some plastic bag and crush it further. This is the way we want it actually, big and small pieces together. So our praline is ready. Next is the caramel sauce. For this I will uh, add uh, half a cup of sugar into one tablespoon of water. We will uh, observe the same process. We will not touch it with any object. Just to, uh, swirl it across till we get a brown color. All the sugar gets caramelized like this and we will switch off the flame. Add 2 tablespoon of butter after that. Give it a nice mix and add 3 tablespoon of fresh cream or whipping cream. Mix it thoroughly. And once you mix it very nicely, you will get a liquidy form like this. And now we have to switch on the flame and uh, just uh, stir it for 2-3 minutes till it uh, thickens slightly. Do not uh, heat it too much because once it gets cooled it will thicken further. So the third step is a sponge. For this I am taking 1 cup of flour and I will add 1 tablespoon sorry teaspoon of baking powder and sieve it 2-3 uh, times and keep it aside. And add 4 eggs in a bowl. Beat it uh, till it's really fluffy. Add 1 teaspoon of vinegar. And add 3 by 4 cup of sugar into 3 batches. We have to uh, whisk it till the entire batter comes approximately to 3 uh, uh, times the size. Here I am adding 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence for the uh, flavor. We will add 1 by 4 cup of oil and gradually mix it. Ensure that you do not deflate the uh, egg. Now we will whisk in the flour mix into the egg mixture. Try to make a cut and fold method for this.
Now I will add 1 by 4 cup of milk alternating it with the flour mix. You start it with the flour and end with the flour. This is the consistency that we want. It's kind of a ribbon consistency. Once you drop the batter, it doesn't sink. Now fill in an 8 inch pan. Remove the bubbles by using a skewer. Tap it few times and uh, bake it for 180 degrees for 35 minutes. Next is a frosting. I'm using 1 cup whipping cream. Whip it thoroughly till you get a thick frosting. Transfer approximately 3 by 4 of that particular whipping cream into a bowl, another bowl. And for the remaining 1 by 4, add a little bit of caramel sauce. Whip it thoroughly. So here we have two kinds of frosting. One is a regular frosting, normal white one and the brown caramel frosting. Now our uh, sponge is very well baked and I'll cut off the top layer. I'm placing the entire cake on the lid and I'll uh, cut it equal sizes. I'll add a little bit of caramel into a little bit of milk. Use that solution to soak the cakes. Layer the frosting onto the cake. Then um, use the caramel frosting on top of it and just continue that process. On the top layer do not add the caramel frosting just the white plain frosting is enough freeze it for 30 minutes and uh, apply some cream generously on, on all the sides and on the, on the top and give it a nice shape here i'm using a cake comb for that particular purpose I'll use the caramel sauce drip on the sides and on the top also and add some praline on the edges. I've used praline on top also. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and also share it maximum. Thank you.